Welcome back to another episode of Crave TV. Today we are here right at the edge of Spokane Valley at the beautiful Arborcrest Winery property. And I see Adam over here doing something. So let's find out what he's up to. What did we find today, Adam? Oh, it's an old cannon. Okay. I don't think it works though, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we should go. We should go, we should go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hi. I'm Adam Hegstead, chef and restaurateur in the, in the Northwest. I'm all about the people because that's what hospitality is built on. Hi, I'm Chandler Baird, local foodie and lifestyle influencer at Spokane Eats. I'm all about highlighting our local eateries and the communities that support them. Crave TV is a telling of stories through visiting the places and restaurants, meeting the people who make it happen, and talking to the chefs who help create this amazing industry. This is Crave TV. Oh, guys. Hey. 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 Did you just hear some really loud noise? Oh, I, I didn't hear that. There's some that. people over there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. It's really weird. Yeah. Well, thanks anyway. for having us. Of course. So happy to have you can guys. We, can you give us a tour? Absolutely. Right. Let's head this way. So I'm Christina Van Um I am the CEO, uh, owner, and my family started Arbor Crest 40 plus years ago. That's so cool. The gorgeous views and wow, it does not get better than this right here. So pretty. Hope we're not afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it goes right down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is what we call the eagle's nest. Um, watch your head. <laughs> yeah. This was used as kind of ice cream socials and oh, okay. um, just little parties out here. Uh -huh. and Actually, one of my favorite spots and in the in the summer when it's nice and warm in the evening and you sit on these benches and you see all the lights from the city. Oh, it's beautiful. It's spectacular. Can anyone come and like use this space when your tasting room is open? Absolutely. Okay, so basically yes. you can get your wine and then go sit wherever you want on the mm -hmm. property. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we actually do a lot of fun private events here too. So you can you can reserve this space. Oh. Do your own ice cream social. Yes, you can. All right. <laughs> Definitely. And so has this always been like a winery or? So this wasn't. So the, the Ribbit family, um, um, they actually had the first patent on the chairlift. So at uh, Mount Spokane has a bunch of the riblet trams going oh, up. Cool. And um, they just were definite uh, inventors and um, kind of very interesting. But it sat vacant probably for about eight, maybe 10 years. And then my family said, oh, it was, became available for yeah. sale. And yeah. they're like, absolutely, we need to do this. And we need to start a winery. So it was very, very <laughs> great cool. of them to yeah. figure that out and purchase it. And when we did, it was not what it is today. Yeah. Um, it was, sure. was so run down. It was just crazy. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah, so we put- kind of restored it, brought We it restored it, we did lots into... to it, and, and still continue to do lots. So the front of the house is, is my favorite because it actually has oh, yeah. the full expanse wow. of all the views. You can see all and the way the into Turtle Lane yeah. and all the way past. And um, oh my that's God. So cool. And with the river, I love the bend in the river, so you yeah. can see all aspects of it. Yes. And yeah, so this is my favorite spot to grab a, a bottle of wine and sit and enjoy Especially, the view. I'm sure at nighttime, it's beautiful up here. Spectacular, yeah. yes. Wow. So you guys do your summer concerts, right? Yes. Where is that? So that is right over there. Okay. Um, so we can walk back that way, but uh, we do those on Thursdays and Sundays. and. Um, fun. Super fun. Yeah. Hard to beat this view. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. So the Cliff House was built in 1924 and um, we have so many weddings here throughout the season and all the brides get married or get changed up there yes. and it's a really special place and then oh. we have lots of events which a uh, dinner lot of dinners. Before. You've done dinners here before yeah. and uh, it's just a really magical space. So. Well, it was, it was, did it build, burn down or something happened? It did. So um, in 2009, uh, the south side burned down. Okay. It was horrible. Um, and we actually had to build the top two floors, but all the rock work and all along the side and the chimney and the roof, you those are all, all the iconic original. Yep, sort of Those are all original. So we were able to kind of put that back and get a little bit windows, of windows, everything's the same. A little yes. bit of an upgrade, Which but you still keep the same it, idea. Yes, yeah, so the cool. kitchen is uh, usable now, nice. where, whereas yeah. before it wasn't, yeah. so. Cool, and then yeah. this is where the concerts happen? Yes. Stage. Uh-huh, and Same. then everyone kind of sits, ar sits around okay. and, the croquet court over there, you can have kind of the table side checkers, service. Giant checkers, which reminds mm -hmm. me of Alice in Wonderland. The gatehouse up ahead. Oh, my um, favorite. Oh, guys, be really careful uh, up against the cannon here, though. Okay. It shoots off every oh, now and then. I ahead. heard about that. Scary. <laughs> I don't know who would mess with that. Well, and we have a master gardener on, um, on the property, so she makes sure everything is 
gorgeous and beautiful and she does a good job. Yeah, fantastic. Good. And tasting room, so it's open like noon to five, is that what I saw? It's it's noon to five every day. Okay. Um, and then in the summer, we do have extended hours and those kind of vary, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. people can come up for concerts, private yeah. parties, all kinds exactly. of stuff. Exactly. It's yep. very cool. It is, it's a, it's a fun place in the summer for sure. Lots of life and a yes. and, um, lot going on. I pulled my favorite bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon from the Stillwater Creek Vineyard. So okay. we One have of the benefits to have being yes. the owner. Yeah. Yes, right. So we um, so we have right behind us um, just more for aesthetics than anything, yeah. but this goes into our sparkling wine program. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. it is fun. And on those perfect years, we'll actually get um, uh, a, a harvest that will ripen something later. Usually we get a freeze in September, and oh, so yeah. these are gone. Yeah. But most of our grapes are grown in the middle of the state. Um, so Pasco, Mattawa, Othello. Um, this particular one is uh, Stillwater Creek Vineyard, which mm -hmm. is in the Royal Slope and right by Royal City in the Frenchman Hills. So we've had such a hot summer. Mm -hmm. And if you look right here, you can see how yeah, like it's these affected ones, the berries. Are these yeah. just about ripe or? Nope, you know, they're still going through Verasian, so you still have the green. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's like halfway through. Okay. And But you can see how small they are, and oh, that's yeah. what's going to be indicative of the and so does that create okay. a better wine or more you know, concentrated? Actually, it does, yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. I think it'll be a really good year. We'll just have not a lot of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes okay. it special, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What would you pair with this, Adam? What would you pair oh, with Oh man, this? this this could be like a lot of different things, but I think uh, it's classic grilled steak. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like braised short ribs, like something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, that yeah. sounds delicious. Is this where you take us to the kitchen time? and you yeah. <laughs> whip something up, yeah. right? <laughs> Let me go grab something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for having us. Oh, you are showing really us around. This is a amazing, beautiful property. Oh, um, thank you for being here and, and coming to see what we do. It yeah. means a lot to us, so. Well, thank you so much. Well, we are lucky to have you in Spokane, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Join us after the commercial break for more Crave TV. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> okay, I'm bringing you one of my favorite little cafes in okay. the valley. It's a hidden gem. They have incredible toast. It's called The Garden. Should we go in? Let's do it. Okay, you'll see why it's called The Garden. <laughs> you to Adam. Hi Adam, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Just wanted Thanks to bring him in and show him one of my favorite spots and all you guys do. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, yes. CJ Curtis. So good to meet you. Nice Thanks meet for you. coming in. Yeah. So what should we get? Like what's the most delicious stuff? What shouldn't oh, we get? Oh man, <laughs> it's, that's a hard choice. We have a lot of favorites around here, but okay. um, I would definitely recommend either avocado toast or acai bowls because those yeah, are part good. of our HRC partnership. Okay. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, so 88 cents of select items, mostly acai bowls, um, specials, avocado toast, and of course all of our merch. Um, 88 cents of each item sold goes directly to HRC's anti-trafficking ministry. Very oh, that's cool. very cool. So yeah, yeah. That. very near okay. and dear to my well, heart. We'll the reason why we, why we opened here. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, surprise us. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually um, recommend the um, jam and bacon fall edition. Okay. So Please. summertime, we okay. have this awesome jam and bacon. Everybody loves it. So we're trying out a fall edition style. Okay. So. Got some apple butter on it with some avocado. That sounds delicious. And, yeah, bacon, of course. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> and then our super toast because that's a fan favorite. Um, and then I'm also gonna make you guys a nutty gardener. Perfect. So um, yeah, acai bowl, some avocado toast. Did yeah, you guys want to order awesome. some drinks? We have some fun fall drinks. What do you recommend? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take whatever you say. Oh, I would go for the cold brew because people love our cold pumpkin kisses. Pumpkin kisses. And of course, it's made so with Indaba coffee. Okay. So we okay. serve Indaba. We partner with a lot of local uh, businesses. It's um, and Indaba is one of our favorite partners. All right, I'll go with pumpkin kisses. Yeah, pumpkin kisses. It is. It's adorable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love your pebble ice. We have to show that off. Oh yes, we have the best ice. You people do love our ice. You really we do. We sell it by the bag too. Oh, yeah. good to know, actually. So if you want some for the road, Cut heading out camping or anything like that, mm -hmm. come get some ice. All right, so while we 
we wait for our food and drinks. We want to know all about you. Tell us your story. Oh my gosh, it's a long one. <laughs> no, I've been here at the garden for two years. We opened up in 2019, May 2019. And really with the intention of bringing a cool spot to the valley. What a time to open. Yeah, right before the crazy, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, but it worked out. It really did. I wanted to bring a cool spot to the... Ooh, thank, thank you. you. Wow. Yeah. Got our super toast and our... Super toast and this is the bacon jam. The yes. jam and bacon fall edition. Ooh, yeah. it smells so good. <laughs> so yeah, with the intention of just getting a, a nice gathering place in the valley. I know yeah. I found myself going downtown a lot to yeah. the good spots down there. And so when I was able to do it, saw the opportunity, snagged it. And then also um, I've been working with HRC Ministries for several years. They have um, specifically their anti-trafficking ministry. So I've been a mentor in their program, share my story with their program. Um, so they help women coming out of sex trafficking and they have a long-term restoration program. And so that is the specifically the area that we partner with and that we donate to. So 88 okay. cents of actually all of these items. That's awesome. So oh, perfect. The yeah. Avocado toast, the acai bowls, our merch, and our special items. 88 cents of all each your item. Superfoods. Superfoods. <laughs> yes. Eat, drink, restore is our okay. mantra. So okay. um, the Thank restoring you. part is um, so much a part of our um, just mission here is to help restore lives, restore the body, you know, through food and. Community, community and all those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, and it's like such a so. great time, I think, in the valley. It's like mm -hmm. as people move here and as things expand and grow, be able to get in, you know, yeah. like mm -hmm. right when everything's starting to roll and move forward and mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, getting out of this situation that Continue we're in. Continue to move forward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you guys are yeah. like literally always crowded, like every mm -hmm. time of the day, it seems like. Yeah. And yeah. like you were saying, you love people come in here and they just like see friends or yeah. see neighbors and it's just like very much a gathering yeah. place. Yeah, that happens a lot. It, yeah. It, it's so fun to watch. Like every, like all the time people walk in, hey. Yeah, well, it's all about connection. Mm -hmm. And you guys are super family friendly. You have like your whole kids play area and you have changing table. Like I love that about you oh, guys. Oh, thank you. It's really unique and special. Yeah, it's a group effort around here. Got well, lots of inspiration. A lot of yeah. local products as well. Yeah, so coffee and local eats. So we partner with Indaba. We use daily on tortillas. We oh, use Mama nice. Torres salsa. Um, a local, local bakeries, several local bakeries, Boots Bakery, oh, cool. um, Sparkles Bake Shop. So yeah. we have a lot oh, of cool. alternative foods too, yeah. and so we can make our toast on gluten-free breads. We got some keto options. Yeah, like so you have like vegan everybody. pastries. Yeah. 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 That's very cool. It's very so. inclusive. Oh, that looks Fun. really pretty. Yeah. yeah so that's our pumpkin kisses cold brew. That's so. your little fruit fruit yeah, drink. Our cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> our cold brew. Um, yeah, it's it. People love it, and the cold foam just seals the deal. Yeah, I, so. I love the foam on top of the <laughs> um, cold yeah. It's so good. And what's your favorite thing on the menu? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Yeah, I know. Um, it's a hard question. I really like the um, quiches. So we do our, our own house-made quiches. They're okay. crustless, so it's a perfect breakfast. So if I'm like in a hurry, which this happens always. a lot, <laughs> then I always reach for the quiche because I know it's like wholesome, filling, yeah. and delicious. We use um, Spiceology spices in a lot of our goods. Love and it. So those both have Spiceology in them. Yeah. So what's this bowl? So that's our Nutty Gardener. Okay. And that's also, well, they're all my favorite, but <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorites because we use the Holy Cacao. Um, so it's an organic fair oh trade gosh. chocolate on there. And then we also use our house made granola. We just actually, it just got a little upgrade with the coconutties. Um, yeah, those look good. Another local. So good. Yeah, company. a 16 year old girl who's like, rocking it right now That's and so cool. I brought her um, coconutties in and so put them cool. on our nutty gardener and they're delicious right. we're, they're really cleanly made okay. and so oh my gosh so good huh? mm -hmm. yeah. and you have a drive-through so I feel like oh. people should know that yes drive it's all about convenience so very convenient well yeah just being able to get something really delicious in and mm -hmm. out of here I think that would be it's mm -hmm. pretty awesome so okay well thank you so much yeah, for having us you. join us after the break for more Crave TV So we're gonna do a brine. One tablespoon of uh, salt mm -hmm. to one cup of water. So that's kind of my ratio, and then I do equal parts of sugar. So one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and then whatever seasonings you wanna put into it. Give it a little whisk to dissolve some of that salt and sugar. I add a little less water so I can add ice to it, and this will chill okay. it down so you can use this brine a little bit faster. Really, because it has to be chilled all the way down before you're, before you're able to use it, otherwise it's gonna cook the meat. Um, I'll let this soak in here for about uh, 
four to 24 hours. Okay. Uh, you can let it soak a little bit longer, but you have to reduce the salt and sugar a little bit. If you're gonna go 48 hours or maybe even you know a little bit longer than that, just make sure that there's less salt and sugar in there because creating osmosis is sucking some of the moisture out and putting seasoning back in. And so when you're cooking it, you're gonna end up with this really nice moist piece of you know pork or chicken Fish, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. taking us next. We're here at TT's in the Valley. Okay. I'm ready to get some uh, smoked BBQ. meats and barbecue. Hey, Hi, what's Chad up? Weiss. What's going on? How are you guys? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. Welcome. Let's go uh, get some grub. Yeah, come on in. Some grub and suds. You guys ready to check out the brewery? Yeah. yeah All right, I'm going to introduce you to my partner, Travis Tosath, the TT himself. Wow. How are you guys doing? So you inspired the name. That's my, it's my initials, so. That is very yep. cool. I have friends that call me that, so we kind of rolled with it when I started the brewery, so. So this is our head brewer, Rachel Nally. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. She does all the brewing and all the hard work. That's where all the beer's built. Okay. Yep. So do you guys distribute outside of, of the we'll restaurant? A little bit of distribution, not much, just sprinkle that to a few restaurants and bars. I mean, Zona Blanca has got our Mexican lager down there is one of our- Makes sense. Our core beers that we always have on. And we have uh, the Marabou at the Max has our, or we have their house beer, their Max Pale is their house beer there. They make their fish and chips and stuff with it. So, oh, cool. so we have a couple of kind of contract beers, but most of it's in-house sales and just kind of keep it fresh and we rotate stuff. And What gets you excited about brewing? One of the things I love to do is look and see what's going on in the industry. So see what other breweries are doing, um, see what we're doing in the kitchen, what kind of flavors we're coming up with there and trying to come up with things that both are gonna be interesting to the beer drinker and then are gonna pair really well with the food complement. and yeah. complement it really well. Cool. So it's a fun experiment. Yeah. What's your background? So I have a background uh, in biology. I have a bachelor's of science in biology. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, I worked yeah. at a medical lab for a number of years and then I transitioned and I was a makeup artist in Seattle. And did that for about five years and then was looking for something that combined both creativity and science and stumbled upon brewing. Yeah. We're always learning. Yeah. yeah. So that's great. It's all it's fun. fun. She teaches me a lot. <laughs> go get some food. Let's go eat. All right. Let's go check out the other side. You guys learned a lot about beer? <laughs> we did. So much. We did. So much. He's got a cool program going on. There. stainless steel out of it. <laughs> you want to show us the barbecue? Yeah, absolutely. All Come right, on in. See. I wanted to bring something that was a little bit different into an area. And, and not to say there isn't barbecue in Spokane, but we want to do what we thought would be Northwest style barbecue. Um, and Create your own style. Exactly. Yeah, so I want to introduce you guys to, to Colin yeah. Barker. To the Reverend? The Reverend <laughs> of Chido, as we call him. Colin. Uh, Colin was a pastor before he uh, he joined us here at TT's. Okay. He helped us start the concept. Right. I had reached out to him and said, hey, I only know this much about barbecue in terms of preparation. I know this much about barbecue <laughs> in terms of enjoying it. And we couldn't do this without him. Uh, his skill level and uh, I mean, for lack of better words, you're a geek about barbecue. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like now yeah. it's a science, right? Yeah. He knows exactly yeah. what's now coming we, in the smoke. We can do it every day now. You gotta it was, mess it up a couple times to get it right. We messed right? it up a lot. <laughs> we messed it up a lot more. We had dishes on the menu just to figure out like, how do we use our mess up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We each have these, you know, it's like I might trim the brisket and season the brisket and put it on the smoker and that's a huge step, but but wrapping it and pulling yeah. it is the huge step. And then our night crew cutting it is a huge step. And yeah. we can, I mean, it, the fact that it takes three people to put something on a plate and it takes three yeah, days yeah, to yeah. produce it. And so you're always looking forward and, and just like someone walks in, well, we're out of brisket. Well, can't you go cook another one? It's like, <laughs> we can't no, we, three days. no, we can't go cook, <laughs> yeah. just cook another one. You know, there it's are a, more cooking actually. Yeah, there's yeah. more cooking, it's, it's but there, you can't have them. <laughs> you won't be happy. All right, so we go, uh, Get some grub. Eat some grub. Yeah, go on in. Grab on in. Hi, Ben. Yeah, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Ben, good to see you again. Yeah. Thanks, oh, thanks for coming back. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. So you're the mayor of the Spokane Valley. That I am. What does that mean? Oh, I get to represent the community in the city of Spokane Valley for all kinds of things. That's awesome. Spokane Valley is like a big part of why Crave even exists. 
Exactly. We really wanted to increase tourism and destinations for Spokane Valley. I mean, we're the tenth largest city in the state now. So. That's that's wild. Wow. Well, and, and wow. me and Chad both grew up here, so it's like great for us to, you know, for me to have like the festival centered in the Spokane Valley, and obviously TT's being a part of that. Um, being able to showcase that and have the support of the city, which is, you know, obviously invaluable. Well, we're thrilled to have you guys. We've even helped renovate Center Place and help shape yeah. the destinations, oh, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. To help make things better and keep it going. And great to have TTs here. I mean, I remember what this building used to look like before you guys were here. <laughs> no, and it's, it's, you know, the Valley has completely embraced all the change that you guys are helping bring to the area. Um, and we're starting to see more and more local restaurants and businesses pop back up. I know we had you know, some, some changes in the city yeah. in the early 2000s that that maybe have, had caused some of that. And now we're back to a, a point where people are starting to do more and more business here exactly. and in, in ways that are very positive for yeah. us. We're gonna do a rib eating contest. Okay. Who can eat six ribs the fastest? I don't know if they can show this on TV, but. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever eats the ribs fastest gets to take home our uh, our spice blends okay. from okay. Spiceology. We have the flavor hog, the brisket bomb, and the hot bird. Okay, awesome. I better grab a napkin here. Okay. <laughs> wow. And go. <laughs> and I did get. And I did get the little. You count more. that as a rib. Oh. And you came up with these with Spiceology, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta slow you down by talking to you. A little bit, right? Here I am trying Strategy. to win a race. What the heck? Oh. You guys didn't think I had it in me, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> all right, look who the winner the is. Champion. Wow, wow look at that. Oh. Oh, there's some spices for you. Well deserved, if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Crave TV. Join us next Sunday on Fox 28.